what I want to do is pray backwards from right here. But I also don't want you just to simply listen to me pray. I want you to actually join with me. Are you up for it? We're going to go on a journey. Here's why. Because the Holy Spirit's the only one that's going to actually fuel transformation for us. Because your willpower only lasts a day and a half. Have you noticed that? (laughs) Have you noticed? Your power, you like hear the one like, go read your Bible. You're like, I'm gonna. And then the next morning you do and you're like, come on. The next morning you forgot. (laughs) Your willpower is very weak. But thank God, guess where he shows up in our, my power is made perfect in your, I gotcha. He says, my power is made perfect in your ability to be strong. No. My power is made perfect in a really powerful sermon of talent. Nope. My power is made perfect in weakness. So if you're getting to the end of the Bible conference a little bit nervous that maybe this won't change your life in the way that you want it to be, good. You're weak. And guess where his power shows up? There. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to allow the gospel to meet us precisely where we're at, not when we were four years old, not when we were 16, not that one time we rededicated rededicated our life to Jesus. No, we're going to have the good news of the gospel meet us right here because then we have the potential for the love of Christ to fuel us until next year. So here's how we're going to figure out where we're at because God's not going to meet us where we're not. We might as well figure out where we're at, yes? Okay. As we're going to close our eyes and simply we're going to share with the Lord the past 24 hours of our life and I'll guide you but we're simply going to open up our hearts. Turns out hard hearts stop the love. (laughs) Open hearts is where he can fuel, flow, transform and then lead us to the place where we might live like it's true because it is. Yes? Something I started doing a few years back is I simply open up my hands when I pray for two reasons. Number one, to give upward the crazy burdens I'm carrying that he didn't ask me to carry like people. Anyone else? Anyone else have children? <laughs> I just give it up. Because he's, he's not asking for me to transform them. He's calling me to love them. But, but where am I going to get the power to love them? The fruit of his spirit. So it's always back to him. See? So I, I do this to lift up and then secondly to receive whatever he might have. Here's what I hope is that you walk out and someone's like, how was that last session? You're like, good. And then they're like, what, what was it? And you're like, I'm really loved. They're like, yeah, yeah, we knew that. And you're like, no. Like, I'm really loved so much so that I don't even need it from you. And I'm free. Do you want that? Don't you want to walk into your business or your home tomorrow not starving and searching for the love of others because you've been so filled, that prayer from the very beginning of the conference, so filled to the measure of all the fullness of God? that he might do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine. Here's how he does it. He meets us right where you're at. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father.